Hi everyone, I'm Michelle from Chasing Solana and in today's video I want to talk about the spiritual reasoning behind waking up at 3 a.m. or anywhere between 3 and 5 a.m. I know that sometimes people, at least for me, when I was younger, I was always told, Oh, waking up at 3 a.m. is such a bad sign. It means that, you know, just a lot of negativity that I'm not going to share with you because I don't want to invoke fear in anybody at all. There is a stigma sometimes times behind waking up between the hours of like 3 and 4 a.m. especially 3 30 a.m. that gets a pretty bad rap too but I'm here to let you know that there is nothing to be afraid of if you're waking up around 3 a.m. 3 30 a.m. 3 33 a.m. there's nothing to be afraid of okay so we'll be talking about the spiritual meaning behind waking up during those times so the first thing that I'll say is that if you find yourself waking up around those hours, this can mean that you are going through a spiritual awakening. This can mean that you're at the beginning of your awakening process and, you know, things start to shift when you're going through a spiritual awakening, including your sleep. I made a video, 16 signs that you're going through a spiritual awakening, so you can check that out to learn more about that. But I found that waking up between 3 to 5 a.m., especially 3.33 a.m., um, that can just mean that you're going through a spiritual awakening. You're at the beginning of your process, or maybe you're going through another one because newsflash, something that I'm just realizing on my spiritual journey, you can go through multiple spiritual awakenings, right? There's so many levels to it, so many different layers to it. So that's one reason why you may be waking up at that time. Another spiritual meaning behind waking up at 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., that can mean that your angels, your spirit guides, they're trying to send you a message. Source is trying to communicate with you and send you a message, right? So say, for example, there's something that you've been dealing with and you've been asking for a sign. You've been praying. You've been asking for God to show you a sign for your angels to communicate with you, right? So then maybe a day later, a few days later, you wake up at 3 a.m. and you all of a sudden have an answer to your problem or to your question. All of a sudden everything is just clear to you and you know exactly what to do. So this can just mean that your angels are communicating with you. God is communicating with you, giving you answers, okay? So if you find that you're waking up at this time, get silent for a moment. First of all, don't be afraid. Get silent, tune in, meditate, and see if you can understand that sign that is being sent to you because, you know, it'll it'll come. It'll come. You just have to get silent and be open to receiving it, okay? You have to be open to that connection, that line. You have to have that channel open. So um, that is what it can mean, just that you finally have an answer to your question or to your prayers. You now know what to do. And now the third reason why you may be waking up at 3 a.m. is because you are being called to create, to manifest, to birth a new idea or a project, right? For example, there are some times when I've woken up at 3 a.m. and I was just compelled to write something down, something maybe that I had dreamt of, something from my subconscious mind. Like I have woken up in the middle of the night and had to start writing. So this can mean that whatever is on your mind at that time and if you feel urged to write something down or like oh that's a great idea don't sleep on it okay don't go back to sleep get up get your uh journal and a pen and write down whatever it is that you thought about because it's so easy for us you know countless times i've waken up around that time and decided okay i'm just gonna go back to sleep i'll remember it in the morning Morning comes, I wake up and I don't remember it. So what I'm saying is if this happens to you, it can mean that whatever is on your mind, whatever idea or whatever thought or whatever dream you had, you have to write that down because there's a meaning or a reason why you're, you've woken up at that time with that thought and with that idea. So don't let it slip away. Be sure to write it down. You never know, whatever it is, whatever idea, it might just be the next big thing or it might just be something that brings you so many blessings or helps so many people. So write it down. 
Now, you may also be waking up around 3 a.m. if you're going through an ascension process. So ascension and spiritual awakening, I think, are two different things. From my understanding, how I understand the concept is a spiritual awakening is you are enlightening to something new. You are enlightening to a spiritual aspect you're enlightening to the true nature of your being that is your soul okay you're shedding your ego you're shedding those layers and you're getting to your heart you're getting to your soul now to me ascension on the other hand is when you're already spiritually awake but it's like you're getting these upgrades right like you're getting these you know how a computer i always like to compare us to a computer how a computer has to update in the middle of the night because there's new um programs or upgrades that were introduced that are going to let the program run better so different apps your actual software system that's what i would compare the ascension process to getting an upgrade to an app or a program right so you can be going through an ascension with ascensions there comes so many symptoms it is similar to a spiritual awakening in the fact that the symptoms that you can experience especially the physical symptoms sometimes you'll experience flu symptoms with both changes in your sleep, you change your diet, your skin, like these things can happen with both. But the spiritual ascension process, you are going through these upgrades, you're activating maybe some light codes if you're a star seed, you are getting new uh, downloads, new information to help you and assist you on your path, to help you and assist you with what you came here to do on your mission, right? So if you're waking up at this time, you may be going through a spiritual ascension. You may be going through those upgrades and ready to go in a new direction on your journey. So that is another reason why. The fifth reason why you're waking up at 3 a.m. is because maybe you just came back from the dream world, from the astral realm. Woo, I know, you guys, there have been a few times where I've woken up and let me know in the comments if anybody else has experienced this. There have been times when I've woken up literally like <gasps> trying to catch my breath and it felt like I had been like thrown back into my body, okay? So I'm not sure what was going on, but it felt, you know, it felt like I was just coming back into my body. Now that doesn't happen often to me. It's happened several times before, but it's very infrequent. Like I've noticed that if I'm going through, um, one time when the first time it ever started happening was at the end of 2015. I was going through like changes in my life at the time, nothing spiritually related, all earthly changes. But um, I started to wake up like, <gasps> like that. And that had never happened to me before. And since then, like at that time, I was, I was very stressed out. But I've noticed the times after that that's happened, I can't recall like having been stressed or anything. It's just, it just happened and it's nothing scary. It's just like, I feel like I'm coming back into my body. So let me know if you guys have ever experienced that. So if you're waking up at 3 a.m., you may be coming back from the dream world and, you know, getting that shift back into this world right the vibrations are different we 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 are multi-dimensional beings okay so we can exist in multiple dimensions at one time so keep that in mind you guys that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already i'm sending you guys so much love so much wisdom so much light and until the next sunrise or sunset, namaste.